Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with the C47 and this is an overview of a product line that I've wanted to talk about for quite some time. In fact, I was going to shoot an episode back in December, maybe even as early as November, talking about this when I was at NAB New York and then at Government Expo and it didn't work out because when I jump into a classroom and I start to teach, all bets are off. I'm supposed to take social media shots. I'm supposed to shoot behind the scenes things. I try to shoot an episode and sometimes it just goes all to crap. So let's talk about this. When I'm doing production, when you're doing production, one of the pieces of kit that we rely upon almost all of the time are C stands and they're fantastic. I love them. They're cumbersome though. And let me just go ahead and show you something. Even when you have detachable C-stands where you can take the base and you can take the column of the C-stand and you can detach them, the overall height of this is on a full-size C-stand pretty ridiculous. And it's even harder when you're thinking about traveling. In fact, for me personally, when I'm traveling, whether it's myself uh, with a small crew or a larger crew, we tend to source these from rental houses when we can. In the U.S., it's quite easy. Uh, even professional photographers use C-stands, so I can even go into smaller markets and get them, but it's still a little bit of a pain, let's be honest. So I have been looking for, I'm not going to say the holy grail, but I've been looking for something that I could use on local and also travel-based productions that would give me something that I could really use. Let me just go ahead and tighten this down here and get the C-stand out of the way. And I'm just gonna move this out of the way. And what we're gonna talk about is over here. These are parts of the Triad Orbit system. And these uh, stands and this stand-based system was really originally designed, um, at least based on my knowledge, for the music industry. And these are incredibly modular and they do come in different sizes. This is called the T3, this is the tall stand. Um, this particular stand weighs over 14 pounds and that means that it is comparable in weight to a, uh, a standard C-stand and it has these ratcheted legs that can be positioned in four different positions. Um, so similar to certain uh, tripods where you can set them up on e uneven ground and things like that. It's pretty cool. And it's your standard lefty-loosey, righty-tighty in terms of tightening things. And what's pretty cool about that, and you can see that that one there is at a different angle here, is it is incredibly weighted. I'm actually gonna just go ahead and take this column and bring it up a little bit higher. And in terms of overall height, the tall stand can go to uh, 71 inches in total height. So pretty tall, uh, and it can be used for most of the things that you need. Now, the weighted stand is great for smaller light fixtures. So if you're using smaller LEDs and things like that, it's not really a problem. Uh, when you get into some larger fixtures and some heavier equipment, you might want to bag this. So travel with empty sandbags, source shot bags. Um, Triad Orbit actually makes a system here that you can basically put individual bags on each of the feet or you can put the whole thing on here and it'll just weight it down like one big sandbag. So that's pretty cool. And the name of the game for the Triad Orbit system is modular. Um, if you go to their website and you look at some of the setups that they have both for music and for video, they have different boom arms coming off of different places and lights and all kinds of stuff. But to me, the key is right here. This is the IO um, coupler system. What do they call it exactly? Yeah, quick change, IO quick change coupler. And this particular quick change coupler right here is a 3 8 You can get it in quarter 20. If you're using larger microphones with a larger thread, you can get those. And so it's completely modular. You pull back the sleeve, pop it into place, let go, and then it's a positive locking system, this hex-based coupler system. Um, right here, this is what I'd be using most of the time, 5.8 stud. So I just have a standard stud here, 
and I can just go ahead and attach stuff to that in terms of standard video production equipment. You can also buy the larger stand or you can modify it uh, and put wheels on it. So if you wanted this to be a rolling stand for a light or also for a monitor, you could do that. And then I have this attachment on this particular version of the stand here. And this is the orbit arm. Um, this is the standard orbit arm. And for me personally, this is something that I'd want to have in the system all of the time. So you can see here. Now again, it's that modular system. Pull back the sleeve and the boom arm comes off. Just pop it right back in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that down. Now, this is actually a pretty good boom arm here in terms of, let me just tighten again this. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And I happen to be, as I've mentioned maybe in prior videos, I'm right under the flight pattern for Newark Airport. So we have situations like that sometimes. So if I just go ahead and extend this out here, you can see that it's a pretty extensive boom. I would like to see a hook over here. I do see a little thread, so maybe there's a way to do that where I could just hang a counterweight on the other side. But you could always just back this off a little bit and you could hang a bag on here if you needed to. Now, that quick release system again. So what I have right now is I have the 3 8 on here. It's attached to a shock mount. So if I wanted to fly a, uh, a shotgun mic, I wanted to boom a mic for talent, I could do that. Very easily use this boom if I wanted to fly a little bit of an edge light, um, a rim light, you know, or a kicker somewhere, I could do that as well. So very, very versatile. Um, you know, for me, what I like about this is how small the stand can become and the fact that it's weighted um, in its default state. So it's not an incredibly lightweight stand. What does that mean for you? It means less in terms of having to bag the stand, especially with smaller, you know, one by one LED fixtures and things like that. It means that you can get it into a case and into your vehicle very, very easily. And if you're traveling and you're smart about your weight restrictions, then you can actually travel with a few of these as well. Um, three of these stands would be about 45 pounds or just, just over that. So you could actually travel with three of these and that could be one checked case. And that would actually make a lot of sense in certain types of production. So I will put a link to the Triad Orbit website where you can see lots of the different configurations. I'll also put a link to a generic link to the products on B&H so you can check those out. That's a small airplane. So that's going, where's that going? What's that other airport? Teterboro. That's another episode. I got another one coming up on Friday. Thanks for watching.